today's video is very, very important if you're using the V2 DJI goggles with any video transmitter other than the DJI 03 air unit. In other words, the Cadex Vista, the Runcam Link, the original DJI air unit, and so forth. And the reason today's video is important is that if you are using those things, there's a very, very good chance you have rooted your system and installed WTFOS. And if you have done that, then you need to update because there is a bug that can uh, very rarely but occasionally cause your goggles to reboot in the middle of you flying. For those who don't know, rooting means that the smart folks over at the WTFOS team have figured out how to unlock the locks that DJI put on their goggles that prevent people from modifying and mucking about with the code on the goggles. And the main reason that that is amazing is that it means that you can get full OSD, full beta flight OSD on these goggles, which is something that DJI never gave you, at least not with the older air units. If you have the O3 air unit, then yeah, they gave it to you and then you have to buy new hardware. Who wants to do that? So if you have not done this yet, then there's a link in the video description to my original video showing you how to root your goggles and install WTFOS and you totally should do it because the full beta flight OSD is so freaking useful. But we're gonna assume you've done that. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna update them real quick. And we're gonna take a look at some changes that have happened in the uh, WTFOS configurator. So I'm going to plug in my goggles to power cord and I am going to plug in the USB and I'll see successfully connected to my device and I'm just going to click on WTFOS. Hello. Uh oh, it's just update WTFOS. Oh, okay, fine. We'll attempt to fix. <sighs> that's not what I really, that's what I meant wanted to be here to do. Is it fixed? I guess it's fixed. Now let's try update. And we're going to update, and the main thing we want to update is the WTFOS system to version, looks like the latest is 023, and that should fix this bug. For more information about this bug, let's take a look at this announcement on the FPV WTF Discord server. If you are using WTFOS and not on that server, then you totally should be because that's where all the development and assistance goes on. Uh, I'll put a link to that server down in the video description as well. Uh, but the issue is that when you are recording to DVR, there can be a momentary spike of video bandwidth, which results in DVR recording and playback, allocating more memory than usual, which can lead to memory exhaustion, which causes safety mechanisms to kick in and restart the goggles UI process. Interestingly, the video link actually stays up. It's just the UI, the user interface that reboots. So after about five to 10 seconds, woo, you get your video back, but by then you've probably crashed. This isn't very likely to happen. The devs say they are aware of about a dozen user reports that they can direct directly correlate to this issue, but I have personally heard from at least one person <laughs> asked on a live stream, oh, hey, my goggles rebooted randomly, any idea why? So I wanna definitely get this word out there. It's always good to stay up, uh, up to the latest uh, on these kind of things anyway, but especially when there is a potentially show-stopping bug, you should definitely update. Failed updating packages. Okay, why did you fail updating packages? Package manager. Are we still happy? Are we working? Update. Okay. Well, that's weird. Let's try a power cycle. One, two, three, four. Oh. Well, now it says everything is up to date. For real, though? Looks like everything is up to date. Fantastic. To sum up then, if you're using WTFOS, you absolutely need to go update to the latest firmware right now so that you can avoid this bug that could cause you to lose video while you're flying. And if you're not using WTFOS, and once again, if you're using the V2 goggles with any air unit other than the O3, if you're using the goggles 2 or the Integra or the O3, that this doesn't apply to you. But if you're using the V2 goggles with any other than the O3, you totally should be doing this. And if you're not already doing it, there's a card on screen and a link in the video description to how to update and how the butter process works if you need to roll your goggles back from a firmware that prevents you from rooting. I'll see you there.